Are you seeing? No. 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 Beep, 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 beep. Got this lightsaber. Yeah, push, 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 push. Go by bikes. Right, ball was nice. Catch on the flip side. Well then, folks, flying jock here. I have just been to Mr. Gremsy's house, met his family, big shout out to the Grems family, and seen his little project, and I've seen it in pictures, etc, and I'll tell you something for free. The pictures do that bike absolutely no justice whatsoever. No justice whatsoever. So they don't. The one thing that I learned while coming up here, we all know it, we all, we all know that this happens. When your camera's on, nothing happens. And when your camera's off, everything happens. But I have got a topic that I want to talk about. And it is about a bike safe course, the bike safe course that I done. Um, I'm not too sure on how much these bike safe courses are. Um, I got mine for free while I was in the army. The reason I got it for free in the army was uh, an officer, he was cleaning bikes. I don't know if he had some problems, crashes, etc., um, with regards to motorbikes or whatnot, but he actually spoke to Hampshire Police and Hampshire Police the traffic cops, they come in and they conducted a bike safe course. It was uh, quite good to them. So it was, I think it was only a day, a day and a half. Um, and it was absolutely tremendous. I learned so much on that, on that course um, with being a new rider. Literally, I passed my, my test in October, uh, sorry, the April. And I had I done a, a bike test, a bike safe course in the September. I passed my bike test on the Thursday, and on the following Sunday I was on the bike, this bike, and I was travelling 400 odd mile straight away. First, first done. Um, so I've got a lot of experience driving on motorways, etc. But that didn't come. Uh, it helped me because I got experience. But then when I've done this bike safe course, absolutely fantastic. What happened on the bike safe course was uh, we went in to a classroom, and had a PowerPoint lesson, a couple of things um, set up, uh, some questions, and I, I think we've done a little test as well. It wasn't a pass or fail thing because you're there to learn. It was just to see how much knowledge you actually have. Um, so we're in there, we've done some documentation checks, i.e., you had insurance, MOT, your bike was taxed and you had the correct license. So once that was done, the team was through some animations and whatnot, and they, were, they were teaching us to look forward, like you're doing your test, they were teaching us to look forward, assess the road in front of you, um, 
done that with us. Then we, once all that was done, we done the little test. I can't really remember what the test uh, comprised of, but um, then we went outside and we were split into um, groups of three with one uh, instructor. The instructors were actual service serving policemen. They were out on the big BMW, twi- uh, the big BMW bikes, and uh, the boys absolutely brand new. The boy that I had, he was a bike enthusiast. He loved his bikes, so he did. Quite a young boy at the time, um, and basically he just looked over your bike, told you your can's too loud, etc. Your tires, watch your tires and whatnot. But these are all stuff that you as a rider should know in your own bike. You know your, your exhaust too loud because you probably had an advisory from your MOT. So he just goes through that and then he, he talks about just different other stuff. Then you'll go out on the road and you'll follow him for a little while. So he'll, he'll carry out some actions on the road and me myself being a new rider I was thinking what the hell is he doing? Why is he jumping all over the road? He's using all his side of the road. So was, and at some points he was using that side of the road too. Oncoming traffic. So we pulled into a service station, a, a little garage, and, and he spoke to us about what, what he was actually doing. And um, it was either a position of, as you look at the road, you'll see three distinct marks where the, the tyres would wear. So closest to the curb was position one or A, in the middle was two or B, and where I'm sat just now was three or position C. And when he done that, he was he was telling us where we should ride, and he said that we should always ride um, out onto in position C. Always ride out this uh, this way because at night time and whatnot, drivers. Um, they'll know what you are more clearly because they'll see you because you're not stuck behind um, vans, other cars or whatnot. And if you are a little 125, you all see little 125s in a position one or tucked right in, aren't they? So it's just, it's just to let cars see you more. A lot of people might um, comment on that and say it's wrong, but that's just the way I was taught by uh, these police guys. So, so it was. So he spoke about that, and he always said that all, always switch positions um, on the road when you go around different corners and whatnot. Because if we get around the left-hand corner, come out into position three because it opens the corner up a, a little bit more for you. And the same we can down a right, a left, a right-hand corner, go to position one because it opens the corner a lot, that little bit more for you. Um, and he didn't really mention much about position two in, in, in the middle um, because that's where all the predominantly all the crap will go sit, sit in the road so you'll lose you'll lose some grip he said so that was fine so then it was a bit daunting at first when we went out on, onto the road and you had a you had um, you up front, the policeman behind you then the two guys behind the policeman and everyone was five mil an hour under the speed limit and whatnot. So we cracked on with that, and then when it came to turning over again, or switching positions, so another boy could go up front, this young guy, Postman, said, don't worry that I'm behind you, just relax, because if you don't relax, I'm not going to see what way you ride, and I can't um, criticise the way you ride to try and, to try and get you to be a better rider. Um, and he also said, if I think you're going too hard, or you're going to be breaking speed limits and whatnot, I'll tell you, but if you're being safe, he won't criticise us for it. He's not going to pull us over and give us a ticket. But then, on the other foot, he says, if you are being an absolute numpty, he will give you a ticket. So he was basically being good guy, bad cop, good cop, bad cop. So he was, the bloke was brand new, so he was, by God, he could chuck that big BMW bike around. And his own personal bike was a CB Thou. So it was, um, oh, so once we, we got that ice broken and the water was fresh, running, well relaxed. So we did, and the riding became more fluent. So it did. So then once we had, we, I think we did about 100 miles, and by that then, um, 
it was it was brilliant. He criticised us, gave us good good comments or sorry good feedback on how we can ride, um, especially on country roads and whatnot. Um, he's saying if you can't see part, if you've got a, a long straight straight of cars, you pay your road tax. What's stopping you from going out onto this side of the road and having a look, even riding there for a couple of seconds? If there's nothing coming, then you're not putting any, any, anybody in danger. There's nothing stopping you from doing that. So do it. You're just you're trying to make progression. That's what your test was all about, making progression. So why should you show progression on your te- on your, your bike test to pass your bike test then when you've got your big bike licence and you're sitting here doing nothing? You've still got to show progression. So that made it more common sense. To show more progression, your skills will get bettered and you pay your bloody road tax so you can use that side of the road as and when it's safe to do so. So that so that was good. So then um once we all had had a go at that, Priest Boy went up the front and he showed his um his riding ability. And by God, this was this was good. This was really good. You have to go and do the course um, to to see for yourself. But God, these boys can handle it. So they can they can handle them big bikes. So after that, we just we get given a, a report. Then the bike safe team um, sent out our certificates and whatnot, and it. I think it knocks a, f- a couple of pound off off your insurance premiums. Not too sure. Um, I haven't really no- noticed a difference, to be honest. Um, but it does knock something off. If, uh, a pound's a pound, isn't it, really? So, that was that. So then, when I came home and whatnot, and I started the vlogging, etc., um, I sent the bike safe team, they're on Twitter, so they I sent them a, a private mail, and I asked if bike safe is... Um, available in Scotland, there's any places in Scotland that does it because I, I was talking to my couple of my pals, Grems and Nasex Monkey um, to go and do this course but Bike Safe isn't in Scotland yet so it's not, it's not in Scotland just yet um, I don't know if and when the closest one to the boys in Scotland if you want to go and do a Bike Safe, I think it's Cumbria so do, I think it's Cumbria um, so you'd have to travel down there and overnight digs etc just to go and do it and that would be a lot of money so would but guys and girls seriously go to bike safe website see where your your your, your nearest nearest course is ran and go and do it because regardless if you're a new rider or you've been riding for 20 years and you think you know how to ride you'll always always learn something so you will it's just a more in depth um, bike lesson again it's, it, and it teaches a very 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 little bit of advanced riding so it does but you're not an advanced rider so you're not you're not an advanced rider nobody else need it um, this I'm not saying that I am I've just taken away and I've practiced all, all the things that this person gave me um, I've practiced it and practiced it and practiced it and I'm still not 100%, so I'm not. I don't think I'll, I'll ever be 100%, because um, everyone's still going to have their... Where are you going? Everyone's still going to have their faults, you know what I mean? But it's a really good course to go and do. So I, so I would advise MD or everybody to go and do it. I'll put the relevant links in the description for bike safe, etc. Um, and I want to really, I hope bike safe see this video because I'll, I can't remember the officer's names. I've, I've got the certificate in my, my jacket here. Um, I'll pop the name up on the screen of, of the officer that done it. I really want to, I know it was, God, two years ago, maybe a year ago. Um, I really want the officer that taught me um, to get a, a little bit of a little bit of air time here because it was absolutely fantastic. So it was. Um, 
So guys, thanks very much for that little, um, little let me rant about that. Uh, until the next video, catch you. Ta-da.